What we're going to do now is prepare the mechanical seal. And the mechanical seal has a couple of ports on it, a flush port and a vent port. And we want to put a vent line on, we're going to plug the flush port. So what fits with the mechanical seal is a packet that has the Show me that Allen pack. wrenches okay. for setting the seal. You've got a tube of lube. Your two Allen wrenches, which fit these set screws on your seal and your retaining clips. And then also a couple of plugs. So what we want to do is put some Teflon tape on the larger of the two plugs. And we want to plug off the flush line. Kind of show that to me so I can just catch a screenshot of that. What? Just show me that the end you just plugged. Just we got an F here for flush. So we're plugging that one and we're going to put the copper tubing fitting in the vent one. So did you grab one? Again, we're going to put a little Teflon tape on it. And put it in the vent line. And now we're ready to install the mechanical seal. We have the studs out. Remember we made them more like cap screws. So we're gonna take the lube. We're gonna put a little lubricant on the inside of the O-ring. This O-ring will actually slide down. It'll slide down over these shafts. So you want to grease that up so that when you put your mechanical seal on, you don't damage that O-ring. Also put just a little grease here where this O-ring seals on the top casting of the stuffing box here. So you want to make sure this is, surface is good and clean. Now, the trick here is get that started. One thing you do want to check is make sure that none of the set screws are sticking through. That's going to hinder the thing from sliding down. You want to come just down just as straight as possible, Pat, until you can bring it down and seat it. And then we put our two studs in that are now more like cap screws because we screwed the nuts on them. quarter inch wrench and bring them down evenly. And then seat them both. And that's good. Now we're ready to put the head shaft on. 